Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel, Fridays with Brandon. This is episode 106 of Fluke Fridays, and today what we're going to talk about is the installation testers from Fluke, specifically the Fluke 1507, and we're going to talk about how do you actually use this tool, what are you doing to test, and why does that matter? A lot of people ask me questions about how do I actually use this to meg or use it to um, test the insulation of a motor or wires. So we're going to go through that today and hopefully it's a very applicable um, video that has real life application and is very hands on. So we're going to jump into it. I've got my demo board here. We're going to hook up to a motor, actually do an insulation test and test between winding to winding and, and um, or phase to phase and phase to ground and kind of walk through that. So let's jump into it. Okay. So what we're going to start with is the 1507 and kind of go around the dial a little bit like we've done before, just so you can see it. So this is just a battery test, see what the internal batteries are. We're good. And then this is voltage, AC, and DC, I guess. Um, this is going to be resistance. You will notice with resistance... Unlike most multimeters where the resistance is in the common, this one you do have to go over here. It's in orange. And with resistance, you're not testing resistance if you just touch, touch the leads together. So I'll show you this. Put these together, I get nothing. I actually have to hit the test button to get a reading. Okay? If you wanted to leave it on forever, you can do lock and then hit test. And you can do that in our insulation testing functions as well and you can see now it's a live reading okay okay so we're going to use this in uh, resistance test here in a little bit and why is that zero there well let's say you wanted to do an insulation test or a resistance test but you wanted to eliminate the resistance of the test leads you can hit this blue button oops sorry you can hit the blue button i say you can Maybe you have to be out of test mode. Now you zero it out. And now when we do another test, it should say zero. And it's taken the resistance of this and eliminated that. Okay. If we want to get back, let's see, we can do the test now. There we go. Let me get that. Yep. Now the zero in out has gone away. And if I put these back in, it's going to get the resistance of the test leads again. Okay. So that's the resistance mode. Then we have insulation testing mode. And you can see all the different voltages that we can output from 1000 volts, 500, 250, 100, down to 50. And you would have to actually move your test lead over to here when you get into the insulation testing mode. And obviously, if you're doing voltage there at the beginning, you'd have your test lead over there. We're going to start with resistance today. Other things that you're going to see on here, we've got compare um, and then a pi or polarization index and a DAR, dielectric absorption rate. Both these, one of them is a one minute test, one is a 10 minute test, and you can look at the ratios for that. You can Google what that test is and why you would use it. We're not going to get into that in this video today. Okay, let's start with, we've got a motor, we've got three different phases on this motor, and we want to do an insulation test. What are we going to start with? First thing I would do is you want to um, do resistance from phase to phase. So that's the first thing we're going to do, not in the insulation testing mode, because it should be a very low resistance, and we're going to test that here in a second. Now, before you get started, what do you have to do first with any insulation test? You want to make sure this thing is de-energized. I've got my demo board unplugged, so it is de-energized. And let's see if I can set this up where you guys can read it. Okay, I'm going to take these. I'm going to first put this into lock mode. Hit the lock button once, hit test. Now I'm live. Then I'm going to clamp around one phase and clamp around another phase. And we're going to let that settle out and you can see the resistance now the biggest thing what we're looking for here is we are looking for very similar resistance 
from phase to phase. So right now we're at 21.25, and I'm going to switch to another phase. Yeah, gotta hold it. 21.22, pretty stinking close. And then the last two. And 21.19 or 21.2. So you can see all three of these are very equally balanced, and that would be the indication that you don't have insulation breakdown and you have good windings. That's where we're going to start. Next, we're going to go from a single phase. I'll leave that black, or actually, I'll switch the black one. Um, you'll, you'll have it clamped to a single phase, and now we're going to go to ground. Now, why is this going to be different? Well, because in this case, we are going to actually output voltage and see if we, we're going to stress the insulation because we should have no um, continuity between a phase and ground. We want that to have a high insulation va value. So this motor is set up for 250 volts. So I'm going to do twice that to stress it. So I'm going to do 500 volts DC. Again, I'm going to hit the lock button and I already switched that test lead over here and I'm going to hit test. And you can see the output voltage is 526 volts, and it maxed it out at 5.5 mega ohm. So before we were just in single ohms, 21 ohms or whatever, 22 ohms. Now we're in mega ohms. So we have very high resistance, an infinity almost, uh, between a phase and ground. And that's what we want. Now we're going to switch this to another phase, and of course I pulled it off my ground. One second, let me get that back. See if I can do that. Okay, now we see, and if I touch it over here, we can see I am actually still live. And then I'm going to do my last phase to ground. And again, we maxed out the resistance at greater than 550 mega ohms. So that's how you would test a motor. You can test the resistance from phase to phase, and then you can test the, or do the insulation test where you actually pump out voltage and from phase to ground or phase to neutral, and it should have a high resistance. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this and you want more videos like this, let me know the kind of application you care about in the comments below. Otherwise, if you watch more than three videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks and take care.